dead sits soft on your quiet smile. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stars in closer, drawn to your warmth. Hi. Hey everyone, and welcome. Today, I've got an incredibly exciting AI tutorial lined up just for you. We are about to dive into the world of AI magic, putting a variety of AI tools to the test. I'm going to show you how to bring an AI character to life by making it sing a song you wrote using AI-generated music. But that's not all. I'll also reveal how to enhance the vocal quality for a professional finish and share the secret to perfect AI lip-syncing, making your character's performance truly captivating. And if that's not enough, I'll even show you how to extend your video seamlessly, keeping everything consistent and elegant. Trust me, you don't want to miss this one. If it's your first time here, make sure to hit like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you never miss any of my new videos. Get ready because we're about to jump right in. If you want to create an original song not just a cover, the first step is generating some quick lyrics. I use ChatGPT to generate short song lyrics, keeping it simple with two lines for the verse and two for the chorus. Now that we have our lyrics, let's move to the exciting part. Next up, we head over to Suno AI. If you have a pro account, you'll have more features that I'll be using here, but don't worry, the free version works just fine. Suno AI is currently on version 3.5 and version 4 is just around the corner. They even have a surprise me button to create random lyrics for you. But today, we're sticking with the lines we already made. We'll also need to set the music style. For this project, I chose Soulful Pop because I want to focus on vocals in this video. Now, after generating, I've got two songs. Let's listen to both and see which one hits the right note. Ooh, I dance as soft on your Christ, no. Stars lean closer, drawn to your one. I know my dance is soft on your quiet smile. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stars lean closer, drawn to your one. All right, the second song sounds great. It's calm, has a clear female voice, and it's perfect for our AI singer. Since we only need the first 60 seconds, let's crop the song right here in Suno AI. Now, we need to separate the vocals from the music. If you're a pro user, this can also be done directly in Suno AI. But if you're using the free version, I've got you covered. Oh, my God, Soft on your quiet smile, yeah. For free users, Ultimate Vocal Remover is the tool of choice. It's available for both Windows and Mac, and the installation is really straightforward, super easy to use. Now, let's take it up a notch. In this second part of the tutorial, we'll enhance the vocals to get a more realistic sound. This is especially important if you're making multiple, consistent, short videos. To do this, we're using the RVC, Retrieval-Based Voice Conversion Technique. I found a fantastic free website that offers thousands of trained voice models. Just pick a female voice if you're making an AI female singer. Click Run. Drag your vocals-only file here and hit Submit. Since it's free, it might take a few minutes depending on server load, but trust me, it's worth the wait. Oh, my dances. Soft on your quiet smile, yeah. Stars in closer, drawn to your warmth. It sounds way better, less robotic, and the quality is much higher compared to the original Suno AI vocals. Personally, I use a custom train model that I merged myself to ensure a unique voice, avoiding any copyright headaches. I'll link the GitHub repository below if you're interested. You can train your own model with your dataset or merge two models to create something unique. With RVC running locally, I just set the file path of the vocals only WAV file, tweak the volume envelope scaling a bit, and hit convert. 
The process is super fast, even on low-end GPUs, so no need to worry. Let's give it a listen. Oh, my dad says, soft on your quiet smile. Mm. Stars in closer, drawn to your warmth. Awesome. The vocals sound even better now. The next step is optional. Enhancing the voice further with effects like reverb or delay, and fixing issues like sibilance or unwanted frequencies. I won't go into all the details, let's just hear the final result. Moving on to the third part, it's time to generate an image of our AI singer. I'm using the Flux Dev model on Comfy UI, but feel free to use Midjourney or any online image generation service. I prefer Comfy UI because it's free and can run locally if you have a decent NVIDIA GPU. Plus, you can use custom trained models to create realistic and consistent AI characters. If you want to learn how to master Comfy UI and create your very own consistent AI influencer, I have a 5 plus hour practical course available. Visit pixelailabs.com to enroll. And as a bonus, you'll get lifetime access to Canva Pro for free. But hurry, this offer ends at the end of the month. For the Comfy UI workflow, I'm using a quantized Flux Dev model and two LoRa's, one for my character Bonnie and another one that gives the style of a cozy gaming room with lighting. In the positive prompt, I want a close-up image, so I used keywords like selfie and serious expression with open eyes to make it suitable for further video generation. Feel free to copy my prompt, but the LoRa's are key to getting a similar result. If you want to train your own LoRa on Flux, I've got a detailed tutorial linked below. For the image resolution, I chose 1088 by 1920. It's a supported Flux Dev size and works great for Reels or TikTok vertical formats. Let's generate a batch of images. Hmm, not quite there yet. I want a closer shot for better facial detail. Perfect. This image is what we need, and we'll use it for video generation and lip syncing. Stay tuned. In this next part, we'll generate a 10 second video based on our chosen image. I'm using Kling AI. In my opinion, it's currently the best out there, offering fantastic character consistency and lip sync capabilities. I'm using the Kling 1.5 model. We load the image and use a simple prompt. Young woman singing with a still camera, set with a relevance of 0.7. This costs 70 credits and takes about 13 minutes to generate. I'll also use a second image to pick the best video output. Fast forward 10 minutes. Let's check out the videos. Here's the first one. Now the second one. Both look great, but I'm going with the second because she's facing the camera directly and stays still, which helps maintain consistency in the next videos. Here's the catch. Kling 1.5 limits videos to 10 seconds, and the extend option isn't available yet. I tried using Kling 1.0 for extending, but it doesn't maintain character consistency and there's no lip sync feature, which really limits what you can do. Instead, I came up with a solution. Use Kling 1.5 to lip sync the first 10 seconds. We upload the vocals, let Kling crop the first 10 seconds and confirm. Oh, my dad says, soft on your quiet smile, yeah. 
The lip sync takes about 8-10 minutes and costs just 10 credits. Here's the final 10 second clip. Oh, my dad says, soft on your quiet smile. Yeah. Mm. Looks awesome. Now, we download this video and load it into Premiere Pro. I'll add the vocals we enhanced earlier and line them up under our video. I'll also mark where the first lip synced video ends and export the next 10 second clip of vocals so the following video picks up seamlessly. If you're using Premiere Pro, make sure to set the in and out points and export in WAV format for the best quality. For the image, grab the last frame of the first video in Premiere Pro by pressing the camera button. Upload this frame to Kling and generate the next 10 second video with the same prompt and settings. And just like that, we extend our video while keeping the character consistent. Once our new clip is ready, it's time to lip sync again using the next part of the vocals. When complete, place the second video next to the first and you'll get a seamless transition. Oh, my dad says, soft on your quiet smile. Yeah. Mm. Stars think closer, drawn to your warmth. Hi. Notice how the second video picks up right where the first left off, preserving our character's position, though there is a slight difference in lighting. I tried correcting it with Lumetri color, but I'm no expert. I did my best to get a smooth result. And that's the process for making longer AI singing videos. You can keep repeating this on the last frame of each video, cropping the vocals accordingly, until you've generated the entire song. Before I wrap up, I want to show you two versions. One with enhanced vocals, and the other focusing on the singing with the instrumental sounding like it's coming from a speaker, making it feel more realistic. I used an old-time radio effect and here's how it turned out. Oh, my dad says, soft on your quiet smile, yeah. Stars think closer, drawn to your warmth Hi mm -hmm. Oh, my dad says, soft on your quiet smile Yeah mm -hmm. Stars think closer, drawn to your warmth Hi And that's a wrap for today's video. I had so much fun working on this project, and I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed creating it. Remember, there's always room for improvement, and I'm always looking for ways to push the boundaries of what's possible with AI. I want to take a moment to thank all of you who bought my first course and to all the Iconomist members. You're the backbone of this channel, and your support means the world to me. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future tutorials. There's more exciting content coming your way, so stay tuned, and I'll see you soon.